Hey there guys, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we are going over the gear loadout for our next overnight adventure, which is the budget overnight adventure. For this trip, we are using gear that's very inexpensive. Not cheap, I don't like using that term. Very inexpensive. For our entire loadout, we are actually looking at less than $300 retail, and if you're wise and thrifty with coupons and looking for discounts, you can get all this for less than $200. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. So right here in front of you folks, this is all the gear that we're going to be taking with us for this trip. I will go ahead, grab the camera, bring you guys in, and we'll focus on each individual piece and go over some information about them. Our pack for this adventure is a Kelty Tioga external frame pack and this thing is pretty darn nice and as you guys can see or possibly see that I've used it a lot there's a little bit of scuffing here some some stains stuff like that but this pack really is very very nice and you could pick up similar packs or even the exact same model on eBay for around 50 bucks which is an incredible value no doubt about it I did a little searching before I made this video, and I saw external frame Kelty packs such as this running from anywhere from about 30, 50 bucks in great condition. So definitely an awesome option. And I should say, folks, thank you all so much for everybody who voted. We had almost 3,000 votes for our gear, and you guys selected this pack. When it comes to the tent, the shelter, you guys picked the Eureka Solitaire Bibby. I'll go ahead and flash a picture of this on the screen for you now. This tent here, you can find for about $72 brand new. If you want to look for a used one, you can find it for a whole lot less. What do you want? What? There's a fire? Oh! In conjunction with the solitaire tent, we are using a piece of Tyvek, and this is a 4x8, which if you want to go out and buy one of these, you can find them for about 20 bucks. Um, I happen to have this left over from some work around the house that I was doing, so it didn't cost me much of anything for this purpose. This right here, my friends, will be our sleeping bag for the night, and this is a Thermarest Tech blanket. It's good down to about 50 degrees, and it usually runs about 50 bucks. I was able to find this for $20 myself. I did a little bit of searching around, and you can find these on sale right now for about $30. They're pretty nice, very lightweight. Like I said, good to about 50 degrees. If you're a cold sleeper, eh, maybe 60, but I usually sleep a little bit warm, so that is gonna be an awesome choice. Our sleeping pad is a Banggood product, and this runs about $24, and you guys have seen the preview and the review on my channel here. You can do a search for Bang good spliced cushion sleeping pad, something like that. I'll, I'll put a link in the description box for you guys. But a uh, very good quality pad, very inexpensive. And I mean, it's a little bit heavy, but it's not obnoxiously so. So, not bad at all. For this trip, this will be our cook set right here. It's just a GSI stainless steel cup. I'm going to use this to drink my coffee out of it. I'm going to use this to boil my water with. And my plan is, is that I'm just going to use my fire to do all the heating that I need to do, but let's say if it does rain, I do have a backup system, some solid SPIT fuel cubes, so just in case. The GSI cup runs about 10 bucks. So right here we have our miscellaneous kit, and inside of this we have our first aid kit, we have some toilet paper, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, we have our headlamp, stuff like this, and I'll go ahead and show you guys every piece, every component here. This is an Adventure Medical Trekker ultralight medical kit and this is the ultralight point three which runs about nine bucks and I have customized this a little bit just for my needs like you should do with your first aid kit here is our Petzl headlamp very good quality very inexpensive and this runs about twenty dollars and of course you don't need to see the toilet paper or the toothbrush stuff like that our hydration bladder for this trip is a Camelback Antidote bag. This runs about 26 bucks. This is 100 ounces or 3 liters. I will also be bringing two 16 ounce bottles with water and this is just for cooking and dinner, coffee, stuff like that. 
Our yellow bag is the fire kit, and basically this just has a ferro rod in it. It has a lighter, some additional espit cubes, just in case the conditions are wet. We have our food bag. Coffee, snacks, stuff like that. In the actual adventure, I will show you guys all of our food. I also have a very large, very thick Ziploc bag, along with some cordage for a bear line. When it comes to these bags, as you can see, they are mesh bags, which I use to organize my gear. These are Vaults mesh bags. You can see a review on these on my channel. Do a search for it, look in the description box, you'll find the link. And these bags right here cost 11 bucks. I love keeping my gear organized, and this is a great way to do it. Additional items for this trip include part of an envelope, which I have right here, which I will just use this to sit on just to prevent my butt from getting wet. Always nice to have this with you, especially in the summer. You can have a nice, beautiful uh, campsite, maybe a log or something to sit on right next to your fire pit. And of course, a shower comes through, soaks it. You don't want to have a wet butt all through the night. So right there solves that problem. I also have a 16 LED lantern, which basically is just for recording purposes so you guys can see me just a little bit better at nighttime. Also, my friends, I forgot to mention our knife that we will be using. This is an Elk Ridge ER107. Very small hunter's knife. I like this thing quite a bit. And you can pick these up for about $14. Very good quality knife, too. No doubt about it. So, my friends, right there is all the gear that we will be using for our overnight adventure. And like I said, this is the budget overnight adventure. With all of this gear that I've shown you, if you were to pay full retail price, you would spend right at $280. But if you look around, you look for deals, discounts, coupons, stuff like this, or even used, you will spend less than $200 for everything. So right there, it goes to show you that you can have really good gear, gear that will keep you warm, keep you safe, protect you, and you don't have to spend a fortune. And if you wanted to, you could even save more money by you know substituting some of your items such as the sleeping bag ditch the sleeping bag and go with a warm blanket from home or blankets sure you're talking about a little bit more weight but you're still saving money and you're going to have a good time nonetheless another thing you could do is ditch the hydration bladder save yourself about 30 bucks and just carry lots of water bottles you can save another 12 bucks by ditching the vaults bags like I'm using and you can just organize all of your gear inside of Ziploc bags. Now if I wanted to save some additional cash I could drop my inflatable sleeping pad and go with an exercise mat. I don't really recommend exercise mats as sleeping pads but they can be used that way in the summer. I really really do not recommend that you use them for the winter but it's definitely an option if you're especially if you're just getting started and you just want to test the waters that's one way to go. So my friends, I want to say thank you all so very much again for all of your votes, almost 3,000 votes for this trip. I am super, super excited to get out and just have a great time. For this adventure, we will be heading up to Grandfather Mountain, as long as everything works out for that trip, for that destination. It really depends kind of on the weather. That's over 6,000 feet. So, I mean, if it's super duper windy, and we'll, we might have to pick something else. But right now, the plan is to head to Grandfather Mountain. It is absolutely gorgeous up there. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free. Drop me a line. Let me know. Of course, I will see you guys around. Strength and honor. Be well.